Systems for Eco Freedom. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 233. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 233, September 10th, 2017 edition. Today's topic, systems for eco-freedom. What are systems for eco-freedom? Well, one community is creating what we believe are systems for eco-freedom. And what that means is ecologically sound, sustainable systems for helping people to create freedom. Everything that you see happening in the background of the video right here is the foundations of these systems. We believe that a lot of people would like more freedom in their life. They would like energy independence. They would like higher quality food, higher quality water, higher quality air, which really creates health freedom in a way. They would like more things to do with their free time and more free time to do those things. And so we consider this eco-freedom and we're designing a blueprint, a template, and a demonstration of what building a lifestyle founded on sustainability and self-sufficiency could look like. And that is one community. And so all of these sustainable village models, the open source education program, the highest good economic models, all of these things are designed to create freedom for people built on sustainability. Our idea is that sustainability and ecological living reduces costs. It creates more free time and creates a way of living that provides a healthier, more holistic approach to life in general. And so through sustainable community models, sustainable village models, and ultimately through sustainable teacher demonstration hubs, we can demonstrate this model, we can evolve this model, we can open source and free share this model, and we can create a global collaboration and cooperation of systems for eco-freedom that are working together to evolve themselves, to evolve the systems and create more ways for people to participate, to lower the cost, to make it easier to participate, and to demonstrate it as a way of living that most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now. And that is our process for creating self-replicating models. And then the global cooperative, the global collaborative can work together to evolve those models, to diversify them even more, and because they're open source and free shared, provide something for everyone. If somebody believes that the way that it should be done is different than the way that we're doing it, then the open source model can be a foundation for that. You know, if somebody doesn't want to create teacher demonstration hubs or if somebody's not interested in building complete communities, everything that we're doing is modular so that people can implement individual components if that's all they're interested in. But really, our systems for eco-freedom are designed to be eco-tourism destinations, at least initially, for, well, I mean, one community is meant to be a permanent ecotourism destination, but the idea is that to build a global collaborative and cooperative ecotourism destinations because the model as we've designed it so far, is most successful when it's shared. The more the model is shared and the happier and the better people are living within the model, and then sharing that model, inviting other people to participate and come and see what it's all about, the more it's shared, the more it will thrive. I've said this in many videos before, but the idea is to demonstrate a way of life that most people will consider to be far superior to the way they're living right now, and ironically, open source and free share it so it can be replicated and people will pay to come and experience that. But the idea is like, wait a minute, if you're paying to come and experience this, why not live this way? If we can demonstrate a way of living that most people would say, wow, this is amazing. I love to vacation this way. Well, there's the irony. It's like, why vacation this way when you could live this way yourself? And so we want to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it as attractive enough so the idea will spread on its own. And through doing this, we can create global eco-freedom. What would global energy independence really look like built on sustainable energy infrastructure globally operating that way? What would our world be like? How would it be different if we could create that? What would a world look like where the idea is that instead of businesses owning everything and then people working within those environments, instead everybody owns the business and has equal investment within it, just like a bed and breakfast does, only it's a complete community model. 
And so the entire community functions to operate and own itself, to make all the decisions for itself and to be a part of the complete decision-making process so that everybody has fair and equal ownership. And from that place, and because it's built on sustainable infrastructure, because the bills are less because this infrastructure is sustainable, and because there is more to do because people are working and collaborating together to accomplish all the foundations of what needs to be done. And so there's more free time, but also more things to do with that free time all within walking distance. This idea is what we think can transform the world. It's something that's already working in vacation destinations. Why don't we all live this way? And so one community wants to make it easy enough and affordable enough so that people can implement this idea globally. And we want to be a part of a global cooperative and collaborative, leading a global cooperative and collaborative to develop the models further, to share the models further, and to invite everybody to participate in the way that works best for them. So our website has complete details on all this. If you're like, wow, what does that mean? Uh, what are the details? Hold on a second. Those are real general statements. How does this really work? Well, that's what our website's about. We have step-by-step -step plans for all of this, for the housing, for the education, for the highest good economic models, for the social architecture, for, for the earth stewardship, and how we will spread this model and help others to implement it. This is what One Community is about. This is our idea for Systems for Eco-Freedom. So with all that said, let's jump into our updates. Here is one week of our all-volunteer team's progress. We're a non-government, non-profit organization creating open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, resources, do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living, or what we call highest good living. And here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments, everything that we've done last week. Check it out. Thanks. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued SketchUp design for the open source outdoor areas of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. We completed the table with benches by adding flower boxes on each side, support rails underneath the tables, and backs to the benches. We also designed a single-person cable spool bench, set up the library outside the furniture layer, and placed plants around the library area. The core team also added three final Treehouse Village Pod 7 renders to the page and began working on the complete village render, which is now approximately 15% complete. In addition to this, we updated the Cobb Village Pod 3 open source hub to include summary introductions to all the image sections, as shown here. Joss Alunga, electrical engineer, completed his final week working on the electrical design details for the vermiculture bathrooms. Joss finished the designs in AutoCAD and wrote the summary of his work. This brings the electrical designs for the structure to 100% complete. Heymanth Kodera, structural engineering master student, completed his sixth week with us by conducting additional Earth Bay Village construction research. This week's focus was finalizing the research and summaries of findings for the French drain, indoor floor screeding, and optimal bag thickness, as shown here. And Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, completed his 26th week helping with the plumbing details for the heat recycling communal eco shower vermiculture bathroom and net zero communal bathroom designs. This week's work was increasing wall thicknesses in the shower to six inches to accommodate the plumbing adding basement drains to all three structures, and more piping updates. This brings us to 98% complete with the plumbing for the whole Earth Bank Village. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 83 of Dean's work, continuing to test and develop the textures and lighting from the skylights and windows for the central dining and presentation hall. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 54th week helping with the compressed earth block village design and render details. This week's focus was beginning work on the final kitchen render looking north, as shown here. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, continued helping with the Treehouse Village Pod 7 renders. This week's focus was completing the initial stairway and artistic tree elements for inside the living structures, as shown here. Samantha Robinson, 3D designer, completed her sixth week working on the interior design for the living structure of the Treehouse Village. 
This week's focus, as shown here, was more shelving revisions for behind the bed, adding drawers under the bed, and more custom door design details. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. Falgu and Patil, mechanical engineer, completed his second week volunteering. This week's focus was beginning the process of reviewing the specifics of the remote energy setup plan and starting the calculations to confirm the energy needs details so we can update the highest good energy page. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, continued work on the City Center structural engineering tutorial. What you see here is his sixth week of writing content. This week's content focus was pressure coefficients and considerations. Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, continued with her 49th week of work on the lighting specifics for the City Center. This week's focus was adding in the pool and walkway lighting details for the social dome and beginning to model the dining dome, as shown here. Hanan Dantes, mechanical engineer, continued with his 18th week working on the Duplical City Center AutoCAD updates. This week's focus was the under stair locker and rinse shower details shown in the sections here. Bomsi Puller Gertha, mechanical engineer, also continued work on the thermal lag research and reports for the City Center Heating and Cooling Open Source Hub. What you see here are Vomsi's calculations showing how heat from the basement and boiler room transfers into and through the soil around these areas. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued editing the food pages. We recalculated food needs and created replacement charts for the food procurement and storage plan and the food self-sufficiency transition plan pages, as you see here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued the process of a final proofreading and editing of all 52 lesson plans. This week, we completed the final two lesson plans, the Consensus and Decision-Making Lesson Plan and the Contribution Lesson Plan. This brings us to 52 of 52 finished, which is 100% completion. The core team also completed a full page update for the Regio Teaching Methodology page. This included integrating all our research from two weeks ago, adding a new resource section, and updating the formatting. The One Community Approach to Highest Good Society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team invested several more hours developing the graphics showing where all our collaborators and volunteers are from. The focus was adding and organizing the interns we had from Brazil into their respective locations in the master layer for the video map. This information will be featured in our overview video and on the team page. You can see here this work in progress. We also created a new and updated summary video. You can see this video running in the background here and showing all our most current work. This video is also the most clear and concise video we've made, coming in at only 60 seconds in length and covering all the most important details of the project. And the core team worked on proofreading and updating the formatting for the taxes page. The page is now 75% complete. Well, there you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards systems for eco-freedom, teaching people how to create ecological foundations for all aspects of living, what we call highest good living, covering all the foundations, food, energy, housing, highest good education, highest good economic models, as well as fulfilled living models and true earth stewardship and putting those all together to demonstrate this way of life in a way that we think will be replicable and desirable for the majority of humanity. And our goal is to reach that tipping point so that enough people are participating so we can create a world that truly works for everybody within our lifetime.
So thanks for watching to the end. If you like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, or follow us through social media and manage your updates that way. Also, thank you, of course, for the donations that we get. Thank you for the likes that we get. Thank you for the shares that we get. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible, but we need your help to get the word out. And so the more people like our information, the more people share our information, the easier it is for us to share global transformation, transformational change, and to help create a world that will work for everybody. And everybody can participate in that process. It's as easy as clicking the like button or sharing it with somebody that you think might be interested. So thank you for everybody that participates. Also, thank you for all the emails that we get. Thank you for the comments that we get on these videos and on all of our posts. They help us make the project better because we do integrate all the ideas that we get. So thanks for the input. Thank you for just the participation. We truly, truly appreciate it. Till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.